Let's talk about Facebook. Facebook is a fantastic tool for team building. We're gonna talk about a few different options that you have with Facebook. First option is direct messaging your personal network. Second option is uh, recruiting through statuses. So let's talk about direct messaging first. And I want you to think about how many people you're connected with on Facebook, right? That would fit the demographic. And what do I mean by the demographic? Somebody who's, you know, recruitable. So 17 high school senior through, you know, college student and beyond. Couple things when it comes to direct messaging that matter. Number one is, what's the message that you're sending? There's gonna be some information, some scripts provided in terms of like, here's what you should be messaging to your personal network. Follow those to a T. In terms of what to say to responses, we can talk a little bit about that, but there's also plenty of information that's out there from the Facebook Jumpstart program that teaches you how to do that from A to Z. Let's go through and let's talk about a kind of the messaging uh, process. So first off, when it comes to messaging, you want to look at, you know, who am, I, who am I looking to message? What number is that? Is it 200 people? Is it 500 people? Are you super well connected and it's 1,000 individuals? I'm not talking about people that you've added for the Jumpstart program. I'm talking about your personal network that you went to high school with, right, or you went to college with. Part of this is doing the math to figure out, okay, so I want all of them messaged by a certain date, right, whatever that date is, prior to high school graduation or prior to finals at college. That's kind of the end date of when you want to have these all finished by. And then you work it backwards and you say, how many messages am I going to send a week? Right, I think a really solid number of messages to send to your personal network is maybe 25 to 30 a day. And, uh, and I would do it consistently. How I consistently got my Facebook messages sent was I would do it either on a specific day, like I would do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and make sure I'm doing it on a certain time. So I'd have a calendar, get a really good planner, um, map out your day, map out your week. So I would make sure that on the specific days I wanted to send messages, I'd do it at the same time. And um, it just kind of became a routine then, so you want to make it a habit enough where you're not even thinking twice that you're sending your Facebook messages. The best way to send those 50 Facebook messages a day is just like working out. Just make sure you have it in your schedule and make sure you're doing it at the same time. For me, I did it on every day, right when I got into the office at like 8 a.m. Just send the 50 out. That way, that's like the most challenging task for the day. Just get it out of the way right away so you don't have to worry about it. Let's talk about some of the fears that you have when it comes to direct messaging your personal network. You might be worried, I haven't talked to these people in a really long time. You also might be worried that, hey, what are they gonna think of me? I don't wanna be that guy or a girl, right? If these things have, have kind of crossed your mind, I wanna take you back to when you started selling Cutco and you made your initial names list and you had you know, 200 people or 100 people on it. And if you're like most people, you called through 10% or 15% of those people and then you were like, wow, I've, I've called all the people that I have. And your manager might have challenged you a little bit and said, well, what about these other 100 people? And in your mind, you didn't wanna call them. Right? Why didn't you want to call them? You were nervous. They were what we call your chicken list. People that you were a little nervous about. What's their reaction going to be? What are they going to think of me? The same thing happens with Facebook. And the reason is because it's out a little out of your comfort zone. Let me remind you of what happened when you called through that chicken list, those people that you hadn't uh, spoken to in a long time. Most people, when they answered the phone, they weren't like, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised that you called me. They might have said, oh, hey, how are you? And what happened is most of those individuals booked demos with you. And, and in fact, most of those people not only book demos, but a lot of those people bought Cutco from you, and the actual feel on the presentation was fantastic. Very rarely do you run into anybody that's on your chicken list that gives you a hard time. The same thing is true with Facebook. Send the messages. Trust me with this. I've had tons and tons of assistant managers do this. When you send those messages, you'll be, re you'll be surprised at the amount of positive feedback that you get. I really, when I was messaging people, I didn't have too many people um, tell me any nasty comments. I did have a couple, which is like unavoidable, um, but you know, you learn how to handle those objections and just kind of what I've learned is when people say, oh, it's a scam, you just laugh it off. And I go to my camera roll, I'll pull up some pictures from Olean, I'll pull up some pictures from Vegas, and I'll say, hey man, it's not a scam. I've been doing this for nine months, made some good money, just trying to see if you wanted a job, and just kind of talking to people, and then I've learned that when you just kind of like, talk to people because they don't know what it is once you help them like shift their mindset it's more of a peaceful conversation mentally I was always like okay I gotta stop I mean people are getting mad but it was always like one out of 50 honestly I'd get maybe one not even one a day maybe like two a week 
So it was more that I'm getting positive responses, I had to focus on the positive and ignore the negative while combating it and just moving on from it, not letting it totally wrap my Facebook program because it is really successful. But the cool thing is, if you have a negative response, it gives you an opportunity to have open dialogue with that person. Respond positively. Say, you know, I didn't want to sell knives either until I found out X, Y, or Z. If somebody says they're interested, great. Send them the link to apply. Get them connected with your manager for three-way text or anything that your office is going to be doing with that. With the direct messages, the important thing is that you're sending a consistent amount of messages, you know how to respond, and that you're trying to respond on a pretty rapid basis, so there's not a lot of time in between when they message you and when you respond to them. The great thing about Facebook is that it's a measurable activity. And what I mean by this is it's actually something that you can set out and say, you know, I'm going to do this many messages every day throughout. And when you do something like this, the great thing is that you're going to see the results happen for you. Don't let this be a program that you do when you remember, right? Put it in your schedule and actually work diligently towards reaching your goal of messaging 500 or 300 or whatever the number is for you. Okay, let's talk about Facebook statuses. I've got a couple do's and don'ts for you when it comes to this program. The reason statuses are great though is because you're able to post something up there that sits, right? And it's not in your face. So we're taking different approaches. Facebook direct message is something specific and personalized just to them. Facebook status, it's gonna get somebody else who's kinda just scrolling through and looking at different stuff and they'll see this and a lot of people will stop. Not all of them, but a lot of people will. Okay, so on the statuses, there's some important things to make sure that you're doing on this. So first thing to, to write down and remember is that not all of your posting should be about vector. What you wanna have is a three to one ratio, three non-vector posts showing that you're just living life normally, and then one vector post. A vector post has something to do with what you do for work. It could be a certain call to action, like, hey, click on this link, or please share this post, or you know, personal message me for more information. Right, something that's calling to action. And then the last do is to make sure that you're authentic. Right, be yourself. If we give you, corporately, something that you can post on, uh, on your status, make sure that you make it sound like you. Let me go through three don'ts. So there's a few different don'ts that are pretty easy to follow. Number one is don't post at the exact same time and the exact same material all the time, right? Mix it up. You wanna make sure that you're posting maybe on different days, posting different material. That kind of stuff is gonna keep it so that it's not you know, uh, looking like the exact same post over and over again. The second don't is don't be worried you're gonna annoy people. Facebook is really simple. They can just scroll right by it. It's not like you're posting it to their wall. It's on your wall and they're gonna be seeing it, you know, seldom. The third don't is don't forget to put the call to action in there, right? Don't just post something about the job, have something about the job and then post in there, here's what I'd like you to do. You can go overboard with statuses. In my opinion, if you're posting every day with a status, that's too much. I think the sweet spot as you get closer to the summer campaign is posting once per week. To wrap up your Facebook video, we've got a couple, I've got two different calls to action for you. First one is to get your first status posted by the end of the day today. So ask your manager, hey, what status are we posting? A lot of offices, it'll be the same status for the entire staff and get those things posted today. I really wanna encourage you to take action on this today so you don't sit on it. The second call to action that I have for you is I want you to pick the day that you're gonna start sending messages to your direct network. Talk to your manager about the timing of this but again, your two calls to action, post your first status by the end of the day today, and pick the day that you're gonna start sending your individual messages to your personal network.